Welcome to Geek's Corner, I'm Mr. Dax. And I'm Johnny Five. And why are you Johnny Five tonight? Because for five hours, we sat and played a video game. We did? Yeah, it was about five hours. Wow. Yeah. What video did, game did was you that? Realize that? It no, was Epic Mickey, The Power of Dose, uh, where he played as Mickey and I played as Oswald most of the time, and we switched a couple of times because we got stuck. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> What'd you think of it? Quick review. It was, it was fun. Ten uh, seconds. Yeah. Quick review. It was fun. They could have done better explaining what the controls were instead of press the jump button. Like press the A button would have been more helpful. Yeah, that that would have been helpful. For I don't remember what it was, but we got stuck on there something. Were so many and it things. was like push the push this button. It's like we didn't tell us what that button was ever, so we didn't know what to do. But yeah. whatever, that's okay. <coughs> <coughs> Do you want my coffee? Or... No. Okay. I want people to subscribe. I do too. That'd and, be great. Uh, and, and subscribe to this channel so they can keep watching all of our fantastic videos and the other ones too. Um, <laughs> so, you know, things like that. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, and share with your friends. We, we like your friends. Most of them. Not those ones, but the other ones. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, those the ones. The ones that like us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We like those friends. So share this with your friends. And let so, them know. we are really close to Thanksgiving. We are. In fact, so like close that I can two almost away. taste it. Um, mm. But, I don't know about your family, but my family, Thanksgiving dinner gets really, 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 really long. Mm -hmm. And you sit there and you're just like, is this ever going to end? So, and you're like, more mashed potatoes, so nope. Yeah, because then you can, you can carve them. Um, <laughs> we should have put that. <laughs> mold them? Ah, yes. You know, yes. Mold them, that's Got I mean. it. Um, so we thought it would be a really smart idea to um, come up with some ways to keep Thanksgiving dinner interesting. <clears throat> so yes. we came up with some dinner games for Thanksgiving because that, that will make it a yes. lot more, more fun. So um, we have how many? We have five. Okay, so here's our Thanksgiving dinner games, ways to keep Thanksgiving interesting. So what you do, first one, is you try to um, figure out how many geek movie lines you can insert into dinner conversation. So as people are talking, you throw, you throw in a geek um, conversation or a geek whatever. And, um, and ideally, you have somebody else playing at the, at the table, too, so that you can keep count. And then whoever gets the most references or lines from Star Wars or Back to the Future, you name it, you win. And I think the goal is to do it contextually instead of just, yes. here's a random line. Like, it has to make sense right. in the conversation. Right. Uh, number two, take green beans. And, uh, mm -hmm. and usually the pie is the last thing you eat, so it stays around for a while. And so you never see, finish the green beans anyway. So. Exactly. So mm -hmm. you take the green beans and you see how many you can fit directly across the middle of it. And then you see how many you can fit around. And you take the number you can fit around and you divide it by the number of the middle and then you can calculate the value of pi. <laughs> True story. This one is perhaps my favorite. It's, it's kind of takes some prep work, but uh, what you do is you sneak a Lego person into the, Lego, into the uh, table decorations and see how long, <clears throat> mom, it takes for uh, someone to notice. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I, I just liked math games, really. Yeah, clearly. Keep it interesting by doing math. Um, so then count the people at the table and multiply it by three quarters. And do you really have enough turkey? <laughs> See you last week. Um, and then the last thing you do, and this is this is great because um, it can be really obnoxious if you want it to be, <laughs> is you create a playlist on iTunes of dinner music. And the only criteria is it has to have the word thanks in the songs. Mm -hmm. So like thanks for the memories. Thanks, thanks, thank you, Thanksgiving. Yeah, we have two Thanksgiving songs. Either of them are completely valid. Or you could just put them on replay and... and yeah, just those two. Just only those two. It'll sound mm -hmm. like Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Um, so then, then there's the rest of the day. Yeah. And, and frankly, if you're a true geek, you're probably not out playing football. And, and you're, you might not want to be watching football because you're a geek. But and, you can play with other people's stuff. And you, you like your iPhone, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. we like iPhones. And we've tested these. In fact, they work. Yep. Um, and so <laughs> you have iPhones, and there's iPhone 5s and 4s and all those other things. And um, they're great for pulling pranks. And what's better on Thanksgiving than showing someone how thankful you are for their sense of humor? <laughs> yes. Right? Um, yes. So we have tested these out tonight on some of our, our crew, and some of them fell for them, and it was phenomenal. And here are five iPhone pranks for Thanksgiving. And, and do I get three this time? Because I'm looking. No, at I, think I think we I messed get... this up. Because yeah. I'm I'm still doing one three five, so I messed oh, it up. Because I really want to do that last. Time. Um, okay. So, <laughs> first one is called the screenshot surprise, and what you do is you press the home and power button to take a screenshot. 
Then what you do is you move all of the icons, icons on the main screen over a screen so that it's completely blank. And then you're gonna open the photo app, you know what that looks like, I'm sure, and you're gonna make your screenshot that you just took the wallpaper, and then close it. Which will basically mean that when they're on their home screen, they'll be pressing on apps and nothing will work. And I've, I've tried this before just by leaving the photo open and then they'll, they'll see that it's a photo. But this one legit, like, there won't, it, nothing will happen and then they'll slide and get, it's, it's, it'll, it's it'll weird. Be fine. It's, it'll mess you up. Yes. Uh, then the next one, uh, this, is, this is always fun. So open, it, open the settings menu, go to general, keyboard, add new shortcut, and then just start having fun. Um, and note that the, you need a shortcut text and then a phrase that it'll, it'll go to so you can really mess with people like change T-H-E-N to T-H-A-N or um, hour to R or like just random like grammar mistakes and put it into their autocorrect. Add random apostrophes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe like just that. change the words completely. You know, mm -hmm. fish to penguin. Exactly, or, yeah. Um, chicken to turkey, whatever to it think. is. Like whatever yeah, you want to do. Exactly, it'll yeah. be perfect. And um, yeah, the change. Totally yeah, yeah. Okay, so then the other one is one that I've done several times, maybe, um, is just, it's called Sunrise Surprise. And you'd call it that because you set random alarms and random um, alerts on your sister's phone, and uh, maybe for the course of a month. And uh, make sure it's completely random, maybe different kinds of alerts, because you know you can have work alerts, and you can have business alerts, and home alerts, and, and all sorts that of was stuff. A, that was a movie with Macaulay Culkin, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. They made a bunch of them. Yeah, it got an Oscar or something, <laughs> <after>, right? <laughs> um, mm -hmm. um, so, so this one I just think is fun. Uh, when somebody leaves their phone next to you, turn it all the way off. And see how long it takes them to figure out what's wrong with their phone. <laughs> if it's like, this isn't... Why can't I get to my... We have tried these, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> they this work. Is true. They this totally is true. work. Some people don't know you can turn a phone off. It's true. And so then the last one, I, I'm going to tell you, and then he's going to tell you a story. Um, <laughs> two stories. And it's called, it's called Screwy. Yeah. And what you do is you're going to go to the settings, then general, then keyboard. And then when you're there, you tap on keyboards, and then English. Then you're going to check the setting that says A-Z-E-R-T-Y, and uncheck the one that says Q-W-E-R-T-Y. And it's going to mess up your your keyboard. What it does is well, it, not your keyboard, it but reorders, your friend's keyboard. It reorders every key on the keyboard. Um, and and we tried this on one of our crew earlier today, <laughs> about the same time that we were playing with his Siri settings and seeing uh, if we could change the Siri, not Siri. That's that's different. Mm -hmm. uh, that has a fringe on top, and to see you know what it sounded like. And he was convinced. <laughs> that his keyboard was messed up because we changed Siri to Australian and was <laughs> proceeding to tell everyone in the room that when you change Siri to Australian, then it changes the keyboard, the keyboard to everything. So, so I am thankful to you and, and later we, we sorted it out and changed it back. But oh, that's this a bummer. Is, yeah, this is I'm, I'm really quite, quite disappointed. I, I didn't know about this setting and then I found it and it's been so much joy ever since then. <laughs> Another a great time to pull this is if if like one of your family knows that you're the geek, so they hand you their phone to have you do the the iOS update for them, uh, the software update, so that you can hand it back to them and their computers all their keyboards all different. And you're like, I don't know, it must be part of the the upgrade, uh, and just <laughs> just leave it, just walk yeah. away. And they'll have to relearn the keyboard. Um, so it's it's a lot of fun and totally mean, but really fun. And so with any of these pranks or any of these games, we'd love to hear what you did with them. And mm -hmm. um, if you have any funny stories, please. And we're not liable just because no. we gave you the idea. We just, just found use things your discretion. on the internet. What are you talking don't, about? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, don't do this to and, anyone. And always remember, us. only pull pranks on people that you can survive if they get mad. Yeah, and if they, they prank you back. Because mm -hmm. this, this guy, you don't prank him. He, he doesn't play prank wars, he wins them. So, so prank people that, that you're okay getting it back twice as mm -hmm. bad. It's true. Um, so we have one last thing tonight. We have one last thing. We asked for uh, parade submissions. We asked for a bunch of parade submissions. We got none. No. So we, we figured- We thought we'd do something better. Exactly. If we can't do the plan, we do something better. So we're gonna do fireworks is always better than, than a parade, right? Fireworks right? in the studio, yeah. fireworks. No, no, not in the studio, that's not safe. Outside of the studio, I set them up fireworks. outside the studio, so we have a fantastic fireworks display. They're on the ceiling, display. they're on the roof, right? Exactly, okay. they're up on top of the Let's roof. Let's hit these Here we fireworks, go. Bean. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. They're, they're prettier if you're looking at them outside, but we're not, we're not outside with them. <laughs> 
so. But, oh. but just know, there's a fantastic fireworks display going on right above us. So if you're anywhere in the area of DAP Studios, you can probably see it. With that, but, uh, we're running out of time. Uh, so happy Thanksgiving to you all, and we'll see you around the corner. Geek out. Really?